just announced a first of a kind product Wahoo have added to their fitness ecosystem, the Kicker Headwind. The Kicker Headwind is the world's first purpose-made pain cave smart fan, controlled in three ways, either via your heart rate, via speed, or via manual control with four settings. So in heart rate mode, the harder you're working, the harder the fan works too. In speed mode, the faster your flywheel or your speed sensor goes, the more air's gonna push. So think flying down a hill on Zwift, you're gonna have more air blowing on you. And in manual mode on the headwind, there are four speed settings, all the way up to 30 miles, 48 kilometers per hour. The heart rate and speed are controlled via Ant Plus, so any device that is sending that information will be compatible with the Kicker Headwind. Okay, there's the rundown on the new Kicker Headwind unit. What I'm interested in is the airflow. It's designed to sit straight in front of you. I've always sat fans off to the side because there's more surface area to cool me down. So the only way to test that, let's get to it in the Llama Lab. Okay, here we are for the unboxing and finding out what's in store here. Even after going through all those specs, I still can't quite get my head around how this is gonna work. So we're about to find out. There really isn't a lot to it. It's just the unit in a box. Here we are. Okay, here we are, the Kicker Headwind. Now, one thing that grabs me straight away that wasn't on any of the spec sheets or any of the descriptions that I've seen so far is the air intake is from the sides. This is really, really interesting because most fans that we see these days pull in air from the back, and if you push them up against the wall, it's gonna restrict their airflow. So air intakes from the side, and obviously out from the front. Okay, and underneath, the feet do come out. So if you want it freestanding on a desk like that or somewhere, or if you have it hooked up to your kicker desk, which I'll do in a minute, away we go. Okay, let's get this set up here, and we'll have a look at how it goes. So we hook it over the front there. That gives us <laughs> in and out. It uh, tracks along no problems at all with that. And I guess we plug it in. Okay, we have a flashing blue light on heart rate, speed. Oh, whoo! Ah, right, okay, so the modes on the front, I've just figured that out. One, speed based, and over to manual. Whoosh! That's got a fair bit of air coming out of it. So that double intake from each side, that's actually pretty cold. Okay, cool. So getting my head around this, we have heart rate, speed, and four manual modes. On, does it remember which state it does? It remembers where we were last. So obviously with no heart rate or speed paired to it, it's obviously not gonna be on. Given the front of this unit here was really no wider than the kicker climb a lot at all. I thought it might have just hit the climb and away it goes, but the climb itself's been designed, I guess, with aerodynamics in mind, and uh, the wind goes straight past it. Let me get this going full bore. So even standing way back here, I'm actually, I can feel the wind quite strong even this far away. None of my other fans are that directional, so that is a good thing straight out that is very cool oh and without a doubt where that's located that is a ton of air getting pushed all over my uh, arms legs torso it that's it's probably bouncing off the bottom of this as well so i guess the height of the desk there does is dependent on that i can push it up against the wall you're probably getting microphone noise from that but that's pretty impressive on first switch on. So it's all good and well to tell you guys that this thing puts out a ton of air, but how can I show you how much air it puts out? 
I thought about jumping on the Apple App Store and trying to find an app that would tell me wind speed and things like that. That'll cost a few dollars. I've got a better solution. And this only costs a few dollars. So first up, this is the original fans I was using, little turbo fans. We'll put it on full speed. And beach ball test. That's pretty sad. Nothing's happening there. So, original fans unable to hold the beach ball. Now, the kicker headwind test. Uh, we'll need to put it upright, so let me put something else behind here. Okay, kicker headwind, beach ball test. Done. Just like magic. That is pretty cool. No strings attached. So there you go, a demonstration of just how much air this little device puts out. Now onto the power meter testing of the headwind here on standby using less than one watt. 67 or so, 66 watts in manual mode one. 119 watts, thereabouts, manual mode two. Manual mode three up to 140 watts. Manual mode four, 175. And out of interest, as a comparison, my previous fan I was using was 51 watts on max setting, but I was using three of those. So 153 watts with three of those on max versus manual four on 175, that's pretty close. A little more detail on the pairing process with the kicker headwind. At this point in time, there's proximity pairing for heart rate and speed, very similar to that of the kicker climb. And in the very near future, when this unit ships, you'll be able to fully configure it via the Wahoo Fitness app. And I have heard rumors of an API, so you never know, a smart fan, smart home, the sky's the limit. Hey Siri, trainer room lights blue. Over to pricing of the kicker headwind, we're looking at 250 US dollars, 200 pounds, 230 euros, and around 400 Aussie dollars. So yes, it is a premium level product, so it's not for everyone, and there are alternatives out there. Similar to what I've been using, well, the three fan with a simple on-off remote, this just takes it to the next level. So kudos to Wahoo for making a device we've all dreamt of, probably right after we've started our Zwift race and we forgot to turn our fans on. So very cool stuff, literally, and uh, good to see a company innovating in this area and making that indoor experience just a little bit more immersive. I can't wait to see where we're gonna take this in the future. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll be back with more soon.